A police chase that started overnight in Orange County ended up in the South Bay on the 805 in Chula Vista, where a suspect was shot and killed by officers. Fox 5's Andrew Nemer explains how it all played out. Overnight, California Highway Patrol on a high-speed chase that started in Orange County and at some point ended in gunfire along Interstate 805 in Chula Vista. The driver, who has not been named yet, later died at a hospital. Authorities say this all started after police in Orange County attempted to stop him because of a traffic violation. A police dog was also used when the shooting ended. Investigators have not said yet if the driver was armed. For the most part of the morning and afternoon, traffic along the 805 was blocked for hours as the San Diego Sheriff's homicide detail worked to figure out what led up to the shooting. Andrew Nomura, Fox 5 News. In Escondido, a man died after firefighters tried to rescue him during a house fire this morning. Firefighters arrived just before 1130 at the home on Waverly Place. Inside, they found the man who was unresponsive. He later died at the hospital. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Early voting begins tomorrow in San Diego County. Mail ballots are going out this week to all registered voters. Fox 5's Jacqueline Sarkeesian is live outside the county registrar's office in Kearney Mesa with more about some changes this election because of the pandemic. Jacqueline. Jason, good evening. Yeah, a lot of changes coming our way for this election, but voting officials are expecting a record turnout this year. There's a little more than 1.9 million registered voters throughout the county of San Diego. That's 250,000 more than the previous presidential election back in 2016. On the first day of early voting, it's expected tens of thousands of people will vote in person. Be prepared to bring your mask. Uh, also, uh, make sure that you know that we're going to have a social distancing occurring. And then finally, make sure you bring patients. Michael Vu, Registrar of Voters, has held that title for seven years. However, this will be his first year running an election during a pandemic. We've purchased all the necessary plexiglass, the sneeze guards. We've got 700,000 gloves that we've purchased. We've purchased nearly 300,000 masks. We've got over 25,000 tubs of hand sanitizing wipes. He says unlike before, his office is now balancing between not just the integrity and security of the election, but providing a healthy and safe environment for voters. We would ask voters to think about uh, long and hard to think about really voting that mail ballot and only going to a polling locations as an alternative. Right now, there's a big national discussion concerning the safety of voting by mail. This is the route VU is strongly encouraging people to take. He says 70% of voters in the county are already permanent mail-in voters. Don't let that discussion happening nationally dissuade you from what you normally do. It is a safe approach to voting. There is so many different safeguards that we have in place. Some of those include checking the signature on every ballot envelope, making sure it matches the one on file. Vu says they also track mail ballots so they know exactly who they're issuing ballots to. For those of you still wanting to vote in person, polling places will be open for four days starting October 31st through Election Day on November 3rd. Is that because of COVID? It is because of COVID. We are consolidating uh, the polling locations more heavily. They're going to be much larger in size for social distancing, um, as well as to meet the demands of voter turnout that we're expecting. So once again, Jason, early voting starts tomorrow. VU is strongly encouraging people to take advantage of it because, like I mentioned, they are expecting a record turnout this year. The registrar's office will be open Monday through Friday from 8 in the morning to 5 at night. Reporting live from Kearney Mesa, Jacqueline Sarkeesian, Fox 5 News.